Hello everyone, Nazanogami here. Welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. We last left off. Learned a little bit about uh, Johnny and River. Their friend and uh, Nick and Isabella. Well, right now it's just... Actually, it's going to be throughout the whole game. We're going backwards through time. Going back with uh, Johnny's memories. You weren't reached childhood, but... Still learning about them. I mean, to tell it in four words order to this point. Like, they live a stable life. They were gonna... Uh, build a house. Near, uh... On the cliff where, uh... The lighthouse that they like is. But then River got sick. And there wasn't enough money to pay for her, her operation and the house. And... River decided that she would rather die than not have the house completed. So we are moving on to the next memory. River? Oh yeah, he did actually say in the flashback that he had to talk with River about something. But then she started making these paper rabbits. Like maybe it's a compulsion thing. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm. True. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. Probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Doctor Who! The quest to move the grand piano! <sighs> Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Yup. The rabbits. He went out for a haircut this early in the morning. Haircut. Where are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? Oh, this again. A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? Like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. She cut her own hair. I've tried cutting my own hair when I was a child. It was kind of a phase thing. Well, there's our memento. She started it, huh? Rabbits. What do they mean? To me, it sounds like she's trying to tell John something. 
indirectly. But they don't mention autism by name, I've noticed. This is adult age, I would say. That's middle age, that's senior. So, normal adult age. This somber music, though. What does it mean? The rabbits? desire to go to the moon. Ah, no house yet. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> There's a note for agoraphobia. I didn't even need to be a note. But maybe it's the thrill of danger. In all seriousness, though, it's the lighthouse. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Oh? Throw this as far or as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? Look at it go. River! Are you insane? Get away from there! What are you trying to do? this memory isn't too far from the last. This actually reminds me of yet another thing. I don't even remember where it's, if it's from a book or from a movie, but it was like a man and his dog, and that dog was so loyal to the man. I mean, just out of curiosity, like the man threw something over a cliff, and the dog actually tried to run and get in. He had to stop him. That dog was just that devoted to the man. Huh. I wonder if this is River trying to say, uh, like, I still trust you, or I still love you. Maybe another indirect way of telling him that. Thinking maybe you connected? Probably. There's a memento. 
Why does she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. I mean, maybe she didn't like going to the barber. I know I hated going to the barber as a kid. Well, it's done. Who is this? A, a bookstore? Bookstore and cafe? Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I shared the syndrome doesn't mean we shared the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a different story. I have to agree with this. It was very hard for me to uh, reach out to people and to make friends. I know when I was a kid, I was very... Well, not there is a good way to put it. Just stuck in my own head. I couldn't even talk until it was like four or five. And like contrast, like two. But I do still long for connections. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. I mean, there are times where I wanted to be by myself. Like, people like try to touch or hug me, I shove them away, or make a fuss. But that doesn't mean I don't want to connect, it's just I don't want to connect now. It's just, I have to reach out to you. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to faith. Ah. You have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? Normal. I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. Yeah, I was like, given the diagnosis. I'm kind of around the same age, or a bit younger, but... I mean, like, some say it was autism. Others say Asperger's Syndrome. Which is kind of the same, but not really. But yeah, it's good to diagnose them young so that they can... We can get like, the assistance sooner develop better. Like, for example, I had to go to school, a speech school, so I can talk, also, so I can read and write. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress, because I've been doing it all my life. That's me right there, too. It's hard to sh to express the real me out in the world, because it would come off as awkward. So, I have to put on a mask every day when I go out to public. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to, to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. 
there are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's just too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real mummy has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh, never met a woman with it before. Then technically you still haven't met one. Yeah, it's... Autism is more common in men than in women, but... That doesn't mean it's not there. This is a part of our business. Let's move. This looks like a bookstore. With the... Maybe with a cafe. The world would be an easier on the eyes people just remembered faces more. What you doing, John? Anything new today? No. Were you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. I think she likes it because of the kid who speaks up. Because he's honest. Because he speaks his mind. That could be relatable. I mean, I have to put a leash on my mind, my mouth at times, just because of how honestly I could speak. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. Just because they're children's books doesn't mean that you, that you can't enjoy them. I mean, heck, I find books for children or for uh, for teenagers more interesting than adult books. What's wrong with reading children's books? Exactly. They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm not yours, you're not mine, be my anti-Valentine. Hey River, this one's not too corny. Not that corny. River? But what about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, you know what Animal David's main morph? Um... I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Uh, don't worry, I'll find out for you. As I said, I've only read the first ten books, so I don't know who David is. Let's see, I remember, let's see, Jake, Rachel, Tobias, Casey, and Marco. Oh, and Axe. That's really all I know. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Ah, uh, I do remember this, though. Yeah, Jake was, uh, I guess, like, favorite animorphs, or favorite morph forms. Except for Tobias, I remember he was stuck as a hawk. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Cobra, huh? Can I type it? I didn't press J, uh... 
I can't backspace. Oh wait. Yeah, I can. Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't type it. Dang it. Oh yeah, Cobra! Really ca wish they kept the old cover set of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Ah, uh, yeah, the covers. Ah, uh, yeah, there was... I think there were covers which were holographic of the characters turning into the animals. But then there was, like, still images of characters turning into animals. I think. I believe Nickelodeon also made a TV series based on the books, but I've never watched it. Anyway, where's... Uh, this the memento? Yep. Oh, this game. It's making me relive my life. Five moves. I thought I had it. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, we do this. Oh wait, I I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Ah, oh, these puzzles. Huh, very overcast day we have here. Oh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you at a lot of parties. Oh, go save your childish Jeffs for the insecure. Animorphs. Nothing new. Pickled olives! I see the fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you made all night. Don't you mean cheesy's remark? Wow. A lot of people. They're getting so overcast. This has got to be near the lighthouse. Now that we got the rings on me. Oh, they just got married. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah. I think so. What is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would 
you like to name her Anya? I understand. Anya was a better shape back then. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Dancing in the lighthouse. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes! Sorry. Come on, let's try again. As I was saying, there's something romantic about it. In the lighthouse, under the moon. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health, for as long as you shall live, I do. And do you take this man, standing before you, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health, for as long as you shall live. Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Wedding. Uh, yeah, what'd you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. I've been to four weddings in my life. And, uh, well, you gotta love the food that happened, that comes afterwards. Louis said to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Ouch! Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Say youch. But uh it's like, am I understanding you right? Are you saying weddings are mistakes? Getting married? Is that the cake? Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. 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 Oh, that's my grandpa's name. Passed away before I was born. Ma calls, calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ah! Not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. That's a pretty small cake. I'm so proud of Joey. John. Joey. Their way to move on.
appro we were appropriately moving fast back in the real world, but here we're moving slow again. Oh. Oh. Oh no. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a... rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Come on, River, we're late. Oh, I get so upset with these things, too. More notes. Can't believe the roadkill is our memento. Ah, no! Well, this one was easy. I was saying, oh no, because now we gotta fill out every square. Which means it's gonna get harder from here. You know it's a fantastic way when your memento is roadkill. Dr. Watson and I are on the same page! Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage! So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was! Or, you know, something equally pretentious. <sighs> cool story, Neil. Moving on. Oh, this is... Teenage years. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the sense simulator. Get away from here already. <laughs> That's a... Uh, horses! <laughs> Whoa! It's a blue horse! Don't do it! Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? Or are you five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it! Hiya! Quit wasting time, Neil! Oh crap! That can't be good. Ah, uh, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it! This was not in the job description! Village <laughs> Yeah, the notes aren't needed most of the time, but some of them are just hilarious. Anyway, what are we doing on a horse farm? I don't see an option for the horse. Don't see an option for these two either. Well then. Just stand at a certain spot. Or go a different way. No multiple people can show up in the same 
spot because it's a memory and all that. Really big open area. Seriously. And our little counter for uh, Mementos hasn't even popped up yet. Not Mementos, uh, Memory Links, Memory Links. Our Memory Links graph hasn't shown up. You still see the age one, though. And where the hell did Neil go? Oh, come on. I hope this isn't a game error. Uh, oh! Pff, what the heck? I had to be standing in, the, in an exact spot. It's not right. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. <laughs> ah! Ah! River! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! got off that horse yet. Eva! This is about 90% more than I can handle. Moron. There go save his bum. Oh, are we really doing this? Don't space and gallop. This is fun. Now where'd you go? I rode horses when I was a kid too. But it was just for fun. No sport or anything. I found that I like just, you know, walking them rather than, uh... Gotcha! Thanks! Ow. Hey, I found something here! Boy, just how far did that horse force launch you? Here, this momentum will do. You'll have to line up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. And we don't have... We don't have enough, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have enough. And why did our bar vanish? I thought it was two horses overlapping at first, but no, it was just a horse and his 
shadow. I keep getting stuck. And I just noticed the horses have gone ghost too. Just with uh, Eva and Neil though. Get on the horse. See? Temporarily remove it from the memory too. I have to go chase down a river. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Can we just get off the horse to do this? There we go. Wait, no, I didn't mean to click that button. Yeah. We're not taking the horse with us, are we? I don't think so. Still teenage years. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus, consensus of the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of, of pervasive development disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you, you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. Tony Atwood. I think he wrote a book on Asperger's Syndrome. Never read it myself, though. You can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't L up with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any, any other current legal affiliation? Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Uh-oh, I sent some hesitation there. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. it help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Ah, that's what it was. Equine therapy. I I didn't ride horses for therapy, although it was nice being around them. I just like being around animals in general. Told you so. Okay, let's see what we got. Apparently things kind of didn't look good for me when I was diagnosed early. Or rather, doc- There's like one or two doctors that didn't have any hope for me. And he's like, oh, if he's lucky, lucky he'll, uh, he'll become a Walmart clerk. You no, know, Walmart greeter. That was a complete bull. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dead all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. My guess is that she likes the platypus just because of how unique it is. I mean, like a combination of two animals. Something that doesn't quite fit in with Mother Nature. Maybe something she can relate to. Those are my thoughts, anyways. Anyway, did I become a Walmart greeter? No! I got a better job than that. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh, guess that explains the ones in the house. 
Yeah, certain noises can be so bothersome, too. Wait, no, not pipes. No, it's... Pretty cool guy! It changed! Wait a minute, is this because I'm... Wait, no, I'm not playing as him. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. And not only did I get a better job, I managed to graduate with a bachelor's in English. Ah, the clock is it. Trying to think of some noises I can't stand. Well, I can't stand sirens. Like, just because of how loud and shrill they are. I also can't stand, uh... I can't go to music concerts because the volume is so loud. The one time I went to a concert, it was just so loud. Felt like the the music was trying to take control of my own heartbeat. I wound up leaving in tears because of how awful it was. But yeah, sensory issues too, another trace or another characteristic. Even though this story is about John, I still like all the attention it's given to River. Or maybe I'm just paying more attention to River, just, just because of the condition. But I can tell it's been hard for John to uh, get along with River at times because of her autism. I mean, it could be hard, but really all you need is patience. And love. But we'll look further back into his memories next time. Until then, this is Nazo, signing off.